Right. Smiling. Right, what I'll do, I'll give you that, uh, I'll take that one back off of him. Alright then, sure. And uh, give it to Rowie. That's it. I'll chat about that, what's this one's uh, F? That's them. Alright. So I'll, I'll settle up you with didn't, the others. You didn't, you, didn't, you didn't do none of them? Huh? Yeah, I'll, I'll, on the others, alright, and I'll settle that up with you. What, immediately? <laughs> <laughs> so that's your two. Lovely. Together yeah, with that's Rowie. fine, right? Yeah, right. Okay. Yeah. Do you want me to hang on to them for you? Hang on, Brian, yeah. Right, I'll keep these right. two. So, uh, Ron, I'd, uh, what, did, what did I give you? Ten. Yeah. I'll give you ten. Yeah. yeah. I've got to cross them off. And you've got ten back here? That's it, yeah. Well, because I took them, I took one of them there, and I... See, because Brian was going to have one of them, but we've now had ten. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What he's trying to say is he crafted the yeah. you a fiver. No, no, don't. Oh, a, a ten. Oh, a ten. That's right. You didn't pay for the other one. Um, yeah. right. So, right, that's it, isn't it? Good luck. Yeah, that's 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 right. that's two square. That's right. Yeah. Oh, right, that's it. Right, and right, you'll right, see right. the other guy about the other ticket. What? Um, the pub. Yeah, we're well, about that that, that thingy one. Yeah. yeah. But you're you're safe, aren't you? You can walk yeah. in with that one anyway. Oh, that's fine. Yeah. So, um, run yeah. it, Jim. Four, take one. Then yeah. slow. Um, the two, right? Yeah. Right. You're right on the back of them, mate. Yeah, we're going to I'll swap you for them. Oh, all right, I'll give you them to me. Uh, that's that's, that's good. Also, I'm going to leave them to at the gate with gas and chopsy. I'll get their dough off them. Well, that's, yeah, well, that'll be there, um. Yeah, so if I've put their names and they can just pay it in, won't they? At the what? gate. I'll leave them doing like that. And Mickey's as well. <sighs> what do you think? Yeah, well, I, I think I'll get Dorothy on the gate anyway. So, uh, oh, it's a, Steve phone up, he wants a lot more. Oh, Steve? Steve, well I'll give him... Who's Steve? Steve in the pub, the green man. Oh, yeah. The green man at Oxton. Oxton? Steve. Oh, yeah, Oxton. I'll get you. Oh, blimey. So, you pay me for 10, he's got to give me another 90 what he's done, so he's going to give me that when he sees me down yeah. there. And also, he said uh, he, wants a, he wanted another, like, uh, 40 ring side. I said, yeah. well, you'll have to pay when you get there. He said, that's all right. Yeah. Oh, well, oh, he wants 40 rings? Ring yeah, side no, he said, I've got a lot, about 40 people coming, can they pay? Yeah, oh, blimey, that's alright, no worries. So, right, and he went to... It's a shame we couldn't do them, though, it? Well, this is what I was thinking, see, but to get Not over it. there. Yeah. Because it's 20 miles free now, yeah. You know? never, never be able to do it. Unless we make arrangements to meet him now. Well, we'll keep him, keep some back if you want, and uh, it's fine. Yeah. I don't know how many people will be there, there'll be so many going there. Yeah, because I... You want to get lost, you know? Yeah, alright. And he, no, no, he said, well, they've just been phoning yeah. up for tickets, so yeah, he's told to make their own way. If you want to ring him up, I'll leave and tell him, uh, to ask, you know, get, wait for Dorothy on, on the... Uh, get them off of Dorothy. Apparently, yeah, and then, okay, then I'll know yeah. they're... Uh, right, can I sort this out here? Yeah. Okay. You can see there's ten yeah. really top ones. And who are the hard men in London? In London itself? Yeah. Well, the, the Roy is, is, the, is the, in my respect, from the East End and that, the people I know, is, is Roy's the number one now, without a doubt, you know. but. There's, 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 there's another number of oh, people, but you know, they, uh, it's sort of, we keep it to ourselves, you know, you don't sort of go around <laughs> saying, uh, he's, a, he's an old man or he's an old man. I mean, I can I can give it to, you know, the top men all, all over London if I wanted to say their names, you know what I mean? I'm but, but, hey, pardon? A few of them? Well, I'll, I'll say about a dozen, I suppose, ten or a dozen. Well, yeah, see, Roy says it about, to me, he is, he is, uh, you know, I don't mean hard man, I don't mean hard man, I mean like uh, the, the chaps, the, they're our own, they're good people, that's what I mean, good people. It doesn't matter if they're hard, I mean, you, you ain't got to be hard to knock someone on the head, have you, you know? So they're hard in there, I mean, just because they can stand up and fight, you know, you can't dis dis distinguish the hardness, you know what I mean? There's, um, in some cases, I mean, it was like a good example, Frankie Fraser, he's one of the hardest men in the prisons. Yeah. But, um, to stand up and have a street fight, you know, my, my bird could probably beat him. But um, give him, he, he, he's got so much yeah. art, it's, it's, it's fantastic. And, he, and he, he's front of, of literally no man, you know, or anybody. And uh, he, he'd do anybody.
If he couldn't beat him with his hand, he'd shoot him. Yeah, things have changed, haven't they? Yeah, like, like, years right. ago, a man had a row. We'd go outside a boozer or a pub or something like that, and they'd have the row. But now you get these That's phones right. and sophisticated phones. They think, oh, of course, they want the shotguns and they want this and that. So the old brawl, you know, is virtually dying out in That's this country, right. isn't it? That's Which true. is true, isn't it? Yeah, years it's, ago, it's two men had a row. And uh, they'd set it, you know, yeah. sort it out. Summed it up, yeah. You don't, you don't get none of the people like will come out and have a straightener nowadays like you did uh, years ago. They're like, this is a, an exception, me and Donnie sort of doing it. So this is why this is a good thing, because by I'm having the fight, it's it's, uh, it's legitimate and, the, you know, Mind it's you, a way they can settle their differences. In due and, respect, uh, you know, like talking to, say, the twins in their own right, they were both good boxers. I mean, uh, they, they could have a yeah, row with their hands, thing, yeah. you know. They were very good boxers. Reggie would have made a very good professional boxer. But... Um, as I said, nowadays, unfortunately, it's not how big you are or how, you know, how strong you are. Mm. If you revert to, you know, violence, it can be a bit naughty. So what about Donny's reputation then? What do you know about him? Well, I think it's overrated. Me, so I think he's, um, you know, he's. If I was in a nick and I had some trouble with the screws, he'd be right at me back. You know, hundred percent behind me, yeah, and and and, good and vice versa. You know. But, I, you know, he's knocked a few screws out in the nick, but anybody can knock them out, because they're all puddings, you know? <laughs> without, you know, without a doubt. And, um... Let's hope they don't get this, this screw out. <laughs> <laughs> and, the, and the, um... He's clumped a few geezers, but I, I don't know of anybody... of any, you know... Who I can say, well, he's, he's done a good one now. I mean, he, he, he whacked, um... Who was the boxer he whacked? Ron Barton. He, he whacked Ron Barton, Barton, but he yeah. wasn't even looking. I mean, I could knock Joe Louis out if, if he wasn't looking. So he jumped and whacked him and put him down. Well, well that's all. That's the only man I know of. Uh, you know, he's um, who I can really say he's a good man. He, I don't think he's, he's beat anybody special. You know, he's supposed to I shall find out tonight. Yeah, find out. The thing is, he's um, he's he, like the, the gypsies champion more or less. Yeah. He's got a big reputation of following with them. Give him his due. He's not yeah. frightening nobody. I'll give him his due there. You know, he, he'll fight anybody and any, and anybody. You know, don't matter if, if they've got a. I know he went on to a little a tasty little firm once and he, and he said, I don't give a monkeys, he said. In he went, he said, you can have it which way you want. And they was tasty people he was talking to. So, you know, he's not frightening nobody. Give him his due there. But if he can back it up, that's another that's another thing I've got to find out tonight. <laughs> yeah, what incentive has he got? That's the other thing. How much art has he got? That's another thing we've got to find out. I mean, anybody can beat anybody. It's, it's just, if you're in them back, it's how, how much, uh, you know, how much guts or how much bottle they got. How much art they got? We'll find out tonight. Well, 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 just imagine if you lost. I mean, would it bother you? Well, not so much. You wouldn't think so. I wonder what to do with myself if I lost. I can't even think about losing. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even think about it. I wouldn't know where to put me in if I lost to him. I wouldn't. I can't, you know, I, I bring it, if, if I was sort of going through a, a bad spell in there, I'd it'd go through my mind that if I lose, I'd, I'd bring up so much drilling in my body, I'd pull myself off the floor, you know. I'd, I'd do him. I, I, I know I just can't get beat by him. He's going to tame the ball. Yeah. That's what yeah. I just can't get beat by him. I've got you know, so much pride on it. Why well, can this bull thing happen? Why are they calling the bull? I think it's bull for bully. <laughs> 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 or bull for bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> well, he yeah. gives a lot of bull. But, so it'll be a good fight there, you're saying, right? So he, he, he's the governor as far as the, the East End's concerned, without a doubt. We know it, and it's as simple as that. Donnie's an old man, but he, he won't be too. Well, he's as strong as a lion. I was, was trained with him, and uh, so, so really, you'd say apart from manners, it's the East End that Donnie's the king of, right? Well, well not I, Donnie, you. I mean, Roy. Yeah. Roy, Roy is he? Yeah. Well, to me, he's, he's the oldest man in the in the country, and in, in the, this sort of fight, without a doubt, without a doubt. He's a myth in his own right. The man is a legend. I, I, I went to a pub the other day. Five, two, three. Anyway, I, was, I went in the, uh, what's it called, the uh, boozer the other day, and uh, an old fighter's got in the pub there. Anyway, his young boy said to me, when I was putting up the posters and he said to me, um, come right out, he's only 11. He said to me, uh, God, he said, uh, is that Roy Shaw? I said, yeah. He said, who do you think's going to win? I said, well, you know, Roy. He said, well, you know him and all this, and this is a young, young boy, you know. He said, oh, can you get his autograph for me on the photo and everything like this, you know, but he, what I'm saying, the man's a legend in his, in his own, you know, amongst our sort of people. And he's such a, you know, and he never takes a liberty, this is another thing why he's well respected. Exactly. And, and, 
and, and Roy never tasted them. Well, I'm only man. Good of them myself, you know. You know what I mean? And the man like his size and, and uh, he's got arms like Popeye. And <laughs> <laughs> if you went into a guy like Joe Bugner, I mean, on a fight, not boxing, but in a straightener, would that worry you at all? No, not at all. Not on, on, on the cobbles. I'd, uh, I fancy my chances, but I'll be quite honest with you. In, in the ring, I, uh, you know, on the Queensbury rules, he, he's a big old boy, isn't he? He's a bit of a lump. I'd give him a fight, but uh, he's a bit, you know, what he's. <laughs> Although people say he can't fight, it's easy for them to sit on the, yeah. the ringside and say he can't, but uh, he's got too much advantage in reach and everything for me to sort of say I'd box him. But on the, uh, out in the car park, dude, I'd, I'd have him. We know, we know, we know worries. Literally no worries at all. And that would go for most British boxers? Um, well, uh, well, that done and all, yeah, because he's, he's the same sort of uh, thing as um, as Bagner, but then when you start, uh, well, there's certain fighters they can have a fight on the cobbles. Brian London was a bit of an handful on the on the cobbles, you know. So, I mean, it's not it's not, it's not easy. I mean, Adams, I can say I'll, I'll do him because I ain't too worried about it. But you can't sort of say, well, I'll do this man. I mean, this is this is classic as case brought all this this thing. Right? I can beat him. I can beat him. It, it ain't my my natural thing to say I can beat him. I, if I had a row with him, I'd fight him. I ain't fighting nobody. Put it that way. But I, I can't say that I'd beat him, you know, until the, the actual the actual thing. Have you but ever in your life? Lost a round with anyone? No, never. No, I would have Have you ever seen a round? With Roy, yeah, yeah, many, many times. Have you? Well, it's like, but he's very tactful. But then you get people uh, in in a, a nightclub by an evening. I remember there was uh, someone spilt his beer over Roy, Roy and more or less said, "Well, you know, be over." So and then someone, uh, you know, effing and blind, you know, and then it was off. And before I knew what happened, there was it, like. It, Done two people, and then there was fire, and he was steam, and it was murders in there. But who come out? Roy, before we, we even knew what was happening, he's, he's got the reflexes. It's it's unbelievable, you know. But these was nasty people. They was uh, drunk bullies, of you know, and that was it. But um, yeah, I wouldn't like to. Uh, know go with him, mate. <laughs> <laughs> How long did one of these? A, a row doesn't last that long normally, does it? Not when no. they're fighting Roy now. This is it. Yeah. Also, most blokes aren't that fit. Right. For well, this this, this goes course. a long way, but then again, That's as I say, uh, with the, with the, with when you got five-handed, and I've seen the man steam into five of them, you know, and they've all got glasses in their hands. But once they've, I mean, the other women was it a few weeks ago? Did he do the coloured fellas? Uh, yeah, yeah. They, they, we couldn't let them in the club. We couldn't let them in the club. He said like it's ten past eleven. It's finishes at eleven. They wanted to come in, so they was in an hour, and then a row started. One threw a right hand at him, and he put him away, and then another one come around the across with a karate. And it was so comical because he ran with two feet and he went bang on his shoulder and he never moved. And he, he, he's bounced off the head and he's like, What are you doing, silly boy? <laughs> and uh, he gave him a slap and they, they sort of more said, All right, all right, Joe, you all right, mate, all right. And they knew, you know. But the man never moved and they, 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 they ran at him with two feet, one fella. Kicked him right, you know, up there. I never moved. I've never seen nothing like it. The only man who reminds me of he's Marciano. He's the same yeah, stamp, looks like him. A natural man, and he can hit both hands. In terms of pacing, this thing, do you think have to pace it tonight? Yeah, you got to pace it. Have to pace yeah. it. Well, you know, the, other the thing is, I mean, take a punch, can't if he, he's an old boy, I mean, if I went out and, and uh, spunk myself away in a round and two rounds, then he, you know, he'd, uh, then he's got his, he can do his own thing, you know. So it's got to be, as I can, if I feel him going, I can step the pace up, you know. So it's. I mean, as I said, I've been a fighter me, myself, so I know how to, how to pace a fight and how to make him move and how to tire him out, you know. So I should try, you know, to to drain his strength out first before I start really opening up, you know. So, but I can't see it going more than, five, you know, five or six rounds. No. Because uh, he's, uh, I mean, he says he's 45, I think he's, he's between 45 and 48, and uh, you've only got so much energy in your canister. I don't matter how fit you are, or how many old he trains, you've got so much energy in there. And um, once, that, once, that, once that drains out, he's, he's going to be the same as anybody else. There you go. I mean, I've trained hard, I've trained twice a day for, for ages now. So, you know, I, I'm, I'm fit. I'm, I know I'm stronger than him. I'm nine years younger than him. Nine pounds heavier than him. So everything's, everything's in my favour, really, yeah. you know. Without bumming me loads too much.
Now, how far will you go? What do you want this for a submission?